Today I will show you how to create a very simple horror game effect. I will show you two ways to do this. And we will create a popping up mesh or a skeletal mesh that has a sound and a camera shake animation. So to do that, just place a trigger where you want the action to be. So add actor, add trigger. Scale it up or down as you like. Then go into Kismet and add a new trigger event. So right click, new event using trigger 2, touch. Now we will add the sound. To do a right click, new action, sound, and then play sound. Connect the touch with the play. And now in the play sound, we have to add our sound cue. So go into your content browser and choose any sound you like. For that, I, will I won't choose a scary sound because I don't have one, but you have to choose a scary sound. So I will use this one here. And I will add it to the play sound. Okay, now we've added the sound. Now we will add the popping up mesh. So we show you the first way how to do this. So go to static meshes and add any mesh you like. I will add this barrel here. And then I will place it here. I have to convert it to a mover, so right click, convert, convert static mesh to move. Because now we can hide and unhide it or we can move it. Now go into Kismet and add it to the, our Kismet sequence. So right click, new object where you interpreted actor 2 and add it. Now we have to unhide it. So do a right click, new action, toggle, toggle hidden. Here we have to connect the touch to the trigger with unhide and the target with our interpreted actor. Okay, now it unhides our interpreted actor, but as you can see, it is here. So we have to hide it before. So do a right click, new event, player, and then a player spawn event. Because now we want to hide it. Then another right click, new action, toggle, and another toggle hidden event. Okay, now connect the out from the player spawn with the hide. Because as I said, we want to hide it now. Now connect the target with the interpreted actor. Okay, let's try it out. Play from here. As you can see, it isn't here. And then you go forward. Bam. It is here. Okay. Now, we will add the camera animation. So go into your content browser. Choose any package you like or create a new one. I will choose this one here. Do a right click. And then, new camera anim. Give it a name. So, camera blah blah. blah and okay. Now double click onto it. And as you can see, we get something like matinee. Here we can animate the camera movement. So do a right click onto the interpreting group and add a new movement track. And now we can move it. So press enter to add a keyframe. Go to, let's say, 050. Move it a little bit there. Bam. And go to 1 and move it back. You can make a much more much more better animation, but I will keep it very simple now. So this is my camera animation. Now close it, and in Kismet, you have to do a right click, new action, and then on the camera, you have to add a play camera animation. You have to connect the touch with the in, the target, we have to choose our player, so new variable, player, player, and connect it with the target. Now in the player camera animation, we can add our animation. So go into the content browser, click onto it, and add it under anim to play. And that's it. Now click play from here and try it out. Bam. As you can see, we have a warning here because we have to choose a game type first before we can play the anim, the camera animation. So play from here. Let's go forward. Bam. As you can see, it plays the camera animation. Mine is very simple, but as I said, you can make a very better one. So, but now we want to hide this barrel when the action has ended. So, we have to add another toggle hidden, new action, toggle, toggle hidden. Now we have to connect with out here. Connect with hide, and the target is our interpreted actor. So now when we touch the trigger, it unhides us, and then it immediately hides it. So, to avoid this immediately hide, we have to add a delay at the out. So we'll set the uh, active delay. So right click onto it, set active delay, and then choose a delay, let's say two seconds. Okay, try it out, play from here. And we go forward, bam, 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 and bam, it's away. So yeah, that's the first way how to do this. 
So very simple, a little kismet animation and that's it. Now we will delete this here. And this here, and this here, and this here, and this. So we just let the camera animation be here and the play sound. Because now we will do it with matinee. And I also delete the static mesh here. So add a skeletal mesh. Um, where is it? UT3. Oh yeah. Let's do it like that here. Skeletal mesh. And then I will add, let's say, lime. So the basic skeletal mesh. Now add it right to the trigger. Like this here. And scale it a little bit up. And now hide it under the ground. So I put it down here. That we can't see it. And with the skeletal mesh selected, go into matinee. So right click, new matinee. And then double click onto it. Now in here, we can animate and move our skeletal mesh. So do a right click, add new empty group. Oh, sorry. A right click, add new skeletal mesh group. And in here, we can move it and animate it. So we can add animations. I will just move it now because in another tutorial, you see how to animate this. But I will just move it now. So we will set a keyframe with enter. Then I will go to one point, or, the, or let's say 0 0.5 seconds. Then it jumps up. Then a half second further, he turns. And then he moves away. Like this. Okay, as you can see, it comes out, turns, moves away. And here you can add an animation so that he walks away. But as I said, you can see this in another tutorial that I made before. Okay, now that's it. Now close it. Go into the skeletal mesh properties and check on the movement that on the physics you have to choose interpolating. So on the physics, interpolate. Okay, now try it out. Play from here. I will go to it. I think it's a little bit... Oh, sorry. We haven't connected the touch with the play. Okay, now try it out. Play from here. Now we go forward. Bam. Jumps out and goes away. Yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.